Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mining News Flash. Today, with Orania Resources, Gold Royalty, Miata Metals, and Sibanje Stillwater on Commodity TV. Orania Resources could have stumbled upon something really big, because Orania's sampling of the seabed in Corsica indicates a major nickel deposit. The initial results showed that the nickel potential is not just limited to the beach, but also extends far offshore. Using a high-performance rare earth magnet lowered to the seabed, very large quantities of black sand were collected up to 600 meters of Nonza Beach and up to 300 meters of Albo Beach. It may be possible to extract the sand using a large marine electromagnet. The advantage of this method would be that it would only have a minimal impact on the environment and the costs would probably be within reasonable limits. Further investigations will follow. Stay tuned and Orania Resources is a very interesting company and stock. Gold Royalty impresses with record revenue in the first nine months of 2024, with the third quarter being an important turning point for Gold Royalty. The outlook is becoming increasingly positive with the ramp up and construction of several key assets in the portfolio. Gold Royalty has achieved record revenues, a stable expense profile and positive net earnings in the first nine months of 2024 and has reaffirmed its annual guidance for expected total revenues, land contract revenue and interest of 13 to 14 million US dollars in 2024. This equates to an annual guidance of 6.5 to 7,000 GEOs gold equivalent ounces for 2024. Management is also confident in the outlook for 2025, as it expects more cash flow assets, strong commodity prices and a stable cost structure to lead to increasing revenues and cash flows next year. With that price, for the company, for the stock, that's a real buy. Next milestone for Miata Metals. The Suriname-based Gold Explorer announced its first real program focuses on high priority targets at the company's Cellar Creek Gold Project. Miata's technical team has developed a geological model that incorporates all available data and forms the basis for the company's upcoming 5000 meter phase 1 diamond drill program. The company has defined over 10 high priority targets. All of these targets consist of gold bearing, wien assemblages derived from historical and current soil grab channel and chip sampling, as well as historical drilling, magnetic data and recently flown LiDAR data. Of these targets, Golden Hand, Puma and Stranger are considered high confidence. Miata Metal looks really interesting. Improvement in sight at Sibanje Stillwater. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, things are really going much better. The operating results for the third quarter of 2024 reflect the benefits of the actions taken by Sibanje Stillwater to optimize its operations and improve the group's profitability. This is reflected in a 9% improvement in the group's adjusted EBITDA for Q3 2024 to 3.3 billion rand over 184 million US dollars compared to the same period in 2023. This improved financial performance was primarily due to the significantly improved financial contributions from the gold operations in South Africa and the century retreatment operations in Australia, which were able to deliver significantly improved financial contributions to the group in Q3 2024 due to greater operational stability and higher metal prices. Despite the solid operating results of the South African PGM and American PGM operations, persistently low PGM prices continued to put pressure on margins, which negatively impacted the group's adjusted EBITDA. The operational restructuring and optimization measures implemented to date, together with the restructuring of the US PGM operations and the Sondoville refinery, are expected to deliver further financial benefits to the group's profitability, while the US PGM operations have successfully improved production and cost expectations in Q3 2024, the 2E PGM average price in 2024 remained well below the AIC and the US PGM operations have continued to incur financial losses. This necessitated further restructuring of the US PGM operations to reduce fixed costs and ensure the sustainability of these strategic Tier 1 assets. The market reaction to the restructuring announcement on 12 September 2024 was positive and resulted in the palladium price exceeding 1,000 US dollars per ounce in response to the planned reduction in PGM production by 200,000 2E ounces in 2025. The operational restructuring and optimization measures implemented since early 2023 have noticeably 
improve the stability and profitability of the Sibania Steel Waters Group's operations and protected the integrity of the group's balance sheet by preserving operating cash flows. The group's financial position has also been strengthened through initiatives that include the early raising of the group's debt covenants, favorable refinancing of debt facilities with lender support and, more recently, securing non-financing capital. As a result, Sibania Stillwater is financially secure and with further production and cost benefits expected in 2025 through operational restructuring and optimization. Management believes it is well positioned to continue to achieve strategic objectives and create shared value. We think it is a real screaming buy. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. The shares discussed are will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.